Welcome everybody to ARG's Up Your Game educational series. We have a great topic and speaker this evening. I want to provide a little context about our series and what we hope to accomplish with these events. ARG supports the technology operations of over 2,000 companies here in the Washington, D.C. area, about 11% of the total businesses. We run over 200 meetings per month with technology leaders from those organizations. We also have deep relationships with over 60 technology providers and the ability to reach out to many more. In fact, it's not unusual for ARG to have six to eight technology companies in our office on any given day. All this interaction with leaders, such as yourselves, and the service providers, has created a unique sharing opportunity for ARG. We have identified many common themes and creative solutions through these interactions. Themes and solutions across disciplines and service providers. This educational series is our way of sharing some of these hot topics, learnings, and solutions. We hope you'll take these topics back to your organization in consultation with ARG and consider how together we can take your organization to a new level. Hi, this is Russ Barker with TierPoint. I'm here to talk to you today a little bit about hybrid IT and the modern IT infrastructure. Before we get started, I'd like to tell you a little bit about TierPoint. We are the largest infrastructure as a service company privately held in the country. We are backed by 41 purpose-built data centers across the country geographically dispersed. Most importantly is we are a high-touch hybrid IT business provider. 6,000 plus customers across our data centers. Of those 6,000 customers, very high touch, hybrid IT services across the board that we'll talk about. Most importantly is half of our workforce is dedicated to supporting our customers. Our data centers are our backbone of the company. These are purpose-built data centers across the thing that we control and operate. All the employees, they're not in a cage, we actually are the facility-based data center. So these are the backbone of our company. This is how we're able to offer all the services across the hybrid IT that we're going to talk about to our customers. Cloud, managed services, co-location, whether it's a private cloud, multi-cloud, uh, or, or some type of an access to a AWS or Azure, if you're looking to go hyperscale. On top of that is going to be our managed services. You know, we are an extension of the customer's IT. So if they need to wrap up security or some other type of management on top of the, their co-location, we're able to offer those. So again, enough of our infomercial. What is hybrid IT and what is the top concerns for IT professionals? Across the gamut, it's gonna be performance of their environment. It's gonna be security, how do I secure my environment? Or it's gonna be obviously risk and obviously monetary. So all these things are top IT concerns that we have to address in a different way. Enter hybrid IT. So what hybrid IT really is, is assessing your workloads for the best overall efficiency. You might want to put something in a hyperscaler in a base measure. You might want to put something in a co-location environment that has compliance all the way wrapped around it. You might be able to put something into a hybrid environment to where you've got a multi-tenant cloud that you're able to scale up and down very quickly. But again, assessing your workloads properly across the board, which one's proper for hyperscale, which one maybe need co-location for some compliance issues, and speeds and performance. All these things need to be assessed, and this is the overall benefit of moving to a hybrid IT environment. Just as important in the hybrid IT environment is how are you going to manage this, and how are you going to check for invoicing and make sure it doesn't spin out of control? TierPoint offers a single pane of glass. So whether you put some workloads in Azure AWS, whether you put some in a co-location or in a private cloud environment, you want to be able to see all those and control all those from one single pane of glass. So again, what's the benefit of hybrid IT? Obviously, you're, you're going to reduce large capital expenditures, move more to an operational expenditure. Um, you've got a predictable cost of doing business. It's very important to CEOs. You're going to assign a dollar amount to each employee. You're able to do that. Um, what's the less risk is you've got local resources, and um, you can pivot very quickly. One of the most important things is guaranteed SLAs. Also, you're able to spread the SLAs across. So if you've got a hybrid environment, you're able to move things very quickly from one environment to the other that fit the best for that workload. So what are some of what this is Forrester? What are the people out there in the know saying that are interviewing the largest IT directors in the country? <clears throat> What's the benefit of true hybrid IT? Number one, as you can see, 27% is um, improved IT infrastructure and their flexibility. And down the road is a better overall IT cost management when they're spreading the resources across the right environment. So who's entering hybrid IT and why? Well, 
disaster recovery as a solution is a big entree to getting into the hybrid IT world. As you can see as well, disaster recovery, uh, different performance levels, they want to speed up the, their uh, development level, different cloud services, and so obviously lower cost. So where do you start? Well, sometimes you start with the smallest thing. Maybe it's your email that you're worried about. Office 365 is a good option for that. If you're looking at disaster recovery because all you have is a backup solution, you want to have a little bit more of, a, of an environment that has assesses your risk better, takes care of you, mitigates your risk. Then you move into a disaster recovery. So again, you're going to tackle your, your, your smallest issue and go to your largest. And you're able to spread those workloads properly. So obviously you can define what makes your business better through use of technology. Thank you. Have a great day.